the video guys back to the Markoon 13 YouTube channel thank you for joining me once again in case you guys missed my last video I just installed the long tube cooks headers on this car so what does that mean essentially well you're basically looking at a straight pipe for this LT1 6.2 liter V8 engine of fury and I have to tell you it is the best sounding thing I have heard in my entire life every time I hit the gas pedal God. No catalytic converters, no nothing, no mufflers. It's Cook's 1 and 7 8 inch headers, long tube headers, catless, up to the MBRP exhaust, which if you don't know, basically has no mufflers on it. So what we're looking at here is basically a straight pipe all the way back to any of those California hippies. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I see it as all the Teslas and Priuses and electric cars that we've got on the road. Speaking of that, there's one right in front of me here. I feel like they make up for all the CO2 emissions that this car might be spitting out at this point. So, eh, pretty much evens out in my opinion. First, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the positives, then we're going to talk about the negatives. There are, of course, a couple of negatives here with these things. Not many, but there are a couple things here with this. First of all, as you guys heard, it is the best sound that I have heard on an engine in my entire life. I mean, just listen to this. Just, just listen to the idle. Currently, we're sitting at... Looks like it's hovering around 84, 85 decibels just at idle, which I believe is quite a bit louder than it actually used to be. But let's give it some revs. Now the decibel meter only goes up to 130, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna max it out, but just to give you guys an idea of what it sounds like. positives obviously the beautiful sound there's also maybe a tiny bit of added power honestly at this point I can't really tell that much tell the car gets tuned it probably has 5 to 10 horsepower gain right now with just the headers but once the tune gets done I've seen you know 30 to 40 wheel horsepower being gained again that's gonna be done by Cunningham Motorsports here pretty soon got to find out about should I do e85 with them first can I do a second tune with them if I when I get it 85 in and should I just do the tune now I'm not sure if any anybody has experience with that about doing multiple tunes with Cunningham or another company kind of what the prices are each time if it's progressive or you have to pay the whole thing every time comment down below let me know your guys experience with that I'm just gonna call them and find out but I just want to hear what you guys have done for your tunes in the past now the negatives also the noise yes why am I saying the noise is a negative well when you live in a neighborhood and you don't live in real bumfuck nowhere People tend to take notice to it. I had a cop that was following me last night through the neighborhood. I was scared shitless. My heart was pounding. I had it in like way too high of a gear just trying to keep the RPMs like around like six, 700 so he wouldn't hear anything. And you know, I got away with it. Now that's the other negative there is the smell. When people are behind you, you can smell the CO2 emissions coming out of the back of this thing pretty well. Even when I'm at stoplights and just chilling in the garage, when I pull it into the garage, you can smell this thing a lot. I mean, it smells like a race car from the 70s because obviously they didn't have that good of catalytic converters. Or do they even have any? I don't even know if they had any. Someone, someone tell me if they did or not. But anyways, the smell, it, it can get to you if you're kind of just sitting at a stoplight for a while or when you pull into the garage, you get out of the garage, you can smell it, kind of fills up the garage. So got to run into the house real quick so I don't breathe all that stuff in, kill myself over time. Other than that, I freaking love it. It sounds, again, it sounds like a race car. Sounds, I don't want to say like a NASCAR because there's no cam in it or anything yet, but it's pretty much as loud as you can go with any type of car, especially an American V8. In my opinion, the small block Chevys, those 6.2, LT1s or the LS7s even, uh, I don't know, this might give it a run for its money here on an LS7. It sounds pretty damn good. 
I'll say this, the video probably does not do it justice at this point, so you guys gotta hear this in person. And again, that is exactly why I will never buy an electric car or a Tesla or anything like that. Everybody gets in there and they say, oh my God, the zero to 60 is so fast. Yeah, but it's silent, it's quiet, it's boring. I don't understand it at all. To me, getting in this thing and just flooring it, just flying down this open road and just hearing that race car V8. That to me is so much more exhilarating than any type of electric vehicle that would go faster than this. That's just my personal opinion. Let me know if you guys agree with me. Let me know if you disagree. It's okay, the Teslas are very nice cars. They're American made. They're really fast. They have awesome technology. Nothing against the cars, it's just not for me as a car guy and you can't get it as a manual it's not, they're all one i think they're all one speeds right one or two or three speeds something like that so just not for me it'll never be for me i think the next thing here is gonna have to be a rev battle between me and lethal camaro once i go up and get it tuned by cunningham might stop by there see if he's available and uh compare his stainless works he's got a full stainless works exhaust the headers um, the cat back, so the full exhaust. I've got Cooks connected to the MBRP exhaust, so it's a little bit different. I think mine's a little bit louder, I'm not quite sure. If you guys wanna see me and Lethal Camaro do a rev battle, drop me a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already to stay tuned for that one. And I don't think I'm forgetting anything, so peace! Woo!